if you have any special requests for specific stories, uh, please let me know. We'd definitely love to hear your comments. So, I'll go ahead and get started here in a second. Let me go ahead and scroll the top. Alright, so, here we go. Once upon a time, in a land where the sun burns bright, and the hills roll for miles, there lived a man named Elijah. He was a prophet, which means he was someone who gave messages from God to the people. To the people. In Elijah's time, the land was ruled by a king who did not believe in God. Instead, the king and many people worshipped idols made of stone and wood, and this made God very sad. Because the king and the people forgot about God, the land became dry, and no rain fell from the sky to water the plants or build the rivers. God spoke to Elijah and said, Go tell the king that it will not rain until I say so. Elijah was brave and did as God asked, but this made the king very angry. He was very angry. And Elijah had to hide for his safety. God told Elijah to go to a special brook. A special brook. A stream of water called Cherith. You will drink from the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. God said, Elijah trusted God and went to the brook. Every morning and every night, the ravens came. They brought Elijah bread and meat in their beaks. Can you imagine that? Birds bringing food, like little waiters in the sky. Elijah had water from the brook and food from the birds. God was taking care of him even in the hardest of times. But after a while, the brook dried up because there was no rain. God then told Elisha to go to a place called Zarephath. There God had prepared a widow to help him. <laughs> she didn't have much, just a little flour and oil, but she shared with Elisha because she believed in God's promise. And do you know what happened? Do you know? Do you know what happened? Her jar of flour and jug of oil never ran out. God kept refilling it because she helped his friend Elijah. The story, little one, is like a beautiful picture of how much God loves us. Just like he took care of Elisha, he takes care of us, too. Sometimes we might be scared or worried, but God is always there, sending us our own ravens and jars of flour in surprising ways. And the most wonderful part, the same God sent us Jesus, who is like the bread that came down from heaven. Jesus is the promise that we 